What is up? I'm Wanda Turtle, and today we have another Crown Zenith Elite Trainer Box opening. Uh, this is for my patron and good friend, Ty. Ty, thanks for allowing me to open this for you, and best of luck on the polls. So, what is everybody thinking about this set? Um, I am really enjoying this. I think off-camera, I've opened um, three ETBs, and very few dupes. Uh, I think I have, like, a duplicate of one of the I think it was like the, the Gudra or something um, DG art and other than that just all new cards every single time and uh, yeah I think this set is very well done um, you know not talking about anything like financial we'll, we'll see in a few months kind of like where prices shake down for all the things uh, but it's just so much fun to open um, kind of you know I feel like it's a mix between Hidden Fates and Celebrations where the set is big, like Hidden Fates, there's a lot of cards, different stuff to pull, but kind of I, similar to Celebrations where just because of all the different cards and you know, all the, the alt arts and, and, you know, it's just fun to open. Even if you don't get like the most desirable card, it's still a joy to open and the hit rate is super high. Um, so just I don't know, on, on all cylinders, it's just a lot of fun. So best of luck, Ty. Um, no or no uh, alt art Snorlax or anything. There is like the common or like the. Ooh, okay. Starting off with a Galarian Gallery. Uh, I'm not sure if I just call it like a GG Guard, GG Guard Caldeo. And look at that. That just I don't know. It's everyone is so unique. So and a lot of them have very different art styles, which is awesome. Um, not bad, but. Uh, no, nothing, nothing too crazy as far as the Mewtwo art. But yeah, so there is a Snorlax to pull. Let's just take a look at centering, but it's not, um, I think it's like an uncommon or something. All right, so as, I feel like this is happens a lot where like the first wave of product, the centering is uh, poor, but very nice hit to start off this opening. And I feel like of the three ETBs, um, I have opened and we did, a, a, this is our second opening, so our, including our first opening. I feel like never got less than like six hits, which for an ETB is so good. And, and that's what I mean, like, you know, we'll, we'll see where the prices shake out to be, but it's just a very enjoyable time to open. All right, next one, we just got a Mr. Mime into a Executor. Not bad Executor. Uh, one tip I do have is, you know, if you have some sealed product coming or, you know, whatever it may be, um, and whatever your plan is for, you know, sometimes like, oh, I'm going to open whatever, open two, keep three sealed or whatever. Uh, the ones that you keep sealed, like, put them away, out of sight, out of mind kind of thing, because once you start opening, like, it's so much fun to open. Uh, you'll be very tempted. So especially if you have some of those PC uh, Pokemon Center exclusive ones, you're like, oh, I'm not going to open those. <laughs> Hide them. <laughs> this set is too much fun. All right, Sun Current. I've successfully restricted myself to only open three TVs because I want to keep going. Ooh, okay. The this this art is really nice. This, this um, uh, just a Toro. So uh, in in one of my TVs pulled the Zacian GG art, and and that one looks so cool. I think the the background color is a little faded, but I think it's on purpose. Um, and I, it's really nice. And I feel like these alt arts, they, they take a different approach. And I think that's Caldea in the background is a great example where like the Pokemon doesn't even need to take up much of the picture. Um, versus sometimes they take up a lot of the picture and they both work. Uh, as long as, I don't know, it's, they're, they're, they're different, they're fun, and they're all unique. So just A plus all around. All right, so it took me a while to realize this. So when it's in the reverse slot, it's just a reverse energy. You can tell because there's no number or anything, but when it's textured, which we pulled at least one in our first opening, that one is the not secret rare, but it's, oh, oh my gosh, it's right here. Okay, this is, this is, this is wild that this happened. And it's the same energy too. Okay, so this one has the symbol, set symbol, and it has, you know, 156 out of 159. So it's not a secret rare, but it's, you know, a special one. Um, I don't know what to call it. I'm just going to call them the textured energy cards. And then you got your basic energy. <laughs> this is an energy pack. 
<laughs> I guess I guess I should have known that the energy was coming, but it, it caught me off guard. Uh, imagine if they were all um, psychic energies. <laughs> that would have been so weird. I'm curious where these things... Oh, that's the wrong sleeve. Uh, where these will land? I think they are... There's no... I'm not sure why they would be better than, like, the gold ones. Um... So I feel like it's just can only be seen as a downgrade from from those, but they're nice. I feel like I'm a sucker for texture cards. They they win me over easy. Like, oh, texture energy card, sure, we'll take it. Okay, so we are stacking some cards in the background, but so far it's been a little lackluster. All right, I feel like from the side I saw something. It might be a black border, so it might just be a regular V. Ooh, we got some kind of alt art. Maybe you maybe you already know what it is from, from just that. I have no idea. Let's take a look. Ooh, Altaria. Okay, all right. And it'll take a while. If, oh, okay, we do have a V. Charizard V. Um, the artwork looks very familiar. Oh, you know what the V-Star Charizard? We pulled one of those. Um, you know, it's not, I think it's not special, but it's different. And it looks pretty cool. All right, let's get some sleeves. A uh, quick look at centering. Yeah, centering's still not perfect. Obviously for you. So still stack in the background. I feel like uh, nothing too crazy still, but um, yeah, five five cards back here. Actually, we're not gonna count the energy. So we'll say a solid four. And I think we're about halfway through, a little past halfway. Come on. All right. So what is your crown zenith situation? What is your plan? And again, if, if you're one of those, and I think it's totally valid, uh, it's like, yeah, I'll open some and keep some sealed. <laughs> again, just put them away. All right, come on. Let's get, I don't know, one of those crazy GG cards, those textured ones that are pretty, oh, there we go, right on cue. So there are some evolutions. As far as like alt art evolutions, uh, you know, not the, not the best. Um, but you know what? I'm okay with that. I feel like the, the evolution alt arts, they're, they've been just, we're getting to the saturation, you know, too many different variants. So um, either way, happy to pull the evolutions, of course. So that is definitely a hit. Um, kind of like to put this opening in the right direction. Let's take a look at centering. Ooh, this one looks good. All right, I'm going to put this in a penny sleeve. And uh, Ty, if you're interested in getting it graded, just let me know. So yeah, they have evolutions. I'm kind of glad they didn't like pump them all in there. And um, you know, I feel like it's not as good as like the Evolving Skies one, but definitely it's probably gonna be on everyone's like checklist as far as ones I do want to hit in this set. So we got three GG cards. <laughs> that energy pack was so weird. All right, so I think we got, was that three packs left after this one? Execute, uh, ooh, I do like this Rockruff art, very cute. The Digging Duo. I have no idea who these people are. <laughs> Ooh, okay. So these um these cards are, are, are interesting. Um, in in the Japanese, they, they just called it these trainer collections. It was just I think it was just like the card. Maybe it had a couple packs in it. And they are kind of like alt art trainers. Um, obviously, if they were full art, it would have been much better. But they do add the signature. I don't even know whose signature is supposed to be. I don't see how this could say Nessa. And I think in Japanese, the name is Rurina. Uh, so I consider these as hits right now. We'll see, maybe they're not that hard to pull. But I do like the Nessa one. I think um, I think I seen like Rayhan or something. All right, three packs remaining. All right, let's get one more nice solid hit. And all right, so the, the hit rates are, are quite high. Uh, so if anyone does a break and they like get shut out, which I feel like that's so gonna be so rare and so unfortunate. If you get shut out in a break, I will crack open another ETB for you because um, yeah, you deserve to to enjoy this set, which includes the, the nice hit rates. Yeah, I can't even show everything off in the background. All right, that wasn't the hit I was talking about, but um, yeah, those uh, signature cards are interesting. We got something, it looks like a V. Well, the last time I said that, we pulled the Evolution. All right, is this the slot that we, ooh, okay, come on. 
Oh, okay. Here we go. This is a very, this is, I consider this a nice hit. I don't know if this is going to be sought after, but I really like this. I feel like we're, we're, we're combining a couple of nice themes. Obviously, we got some alien stuff going on. Or Beetle uh, V Max is just like, that thing's just, it, it, they made it look like a UFO. Combine it with Deoxys with this art style. Um, so I'm not sure if Deox, how popular Deoxys is, but I feel like this art just combines all these different things together and it just works. Oh, and there's that Snorlax. Okay, so it is a rare. Uh, so I'm actually going to sleeve this guy over here too. <laughs> That's really good. All right, so now this is a great box. And yeah, that that's... This is... This set is just, you know, firing on all cylinders. Just great in every regard. Um, you know, we'll see how it ages. But either way, it's just so much fun to open. I think I'm enjoying this more. I feel like the last time I've enjoyed opening stuff this much has to be Hidden Fates. This thing looks really well centered. So, I would suggest getting this graded. Um... I don't know if you're a Deoxys fan, Ty, but if you are, this one is definitely gradable. And I keep grabbing the wrong sleeve. All right, we got one pack remaining. Another successful box. Look at this. I, I can't display half the cards at this point. All right, last pack. Don't see anything from the side. Oh, all right, we're going right to it. We got a Wulu into a Scissor. Ooh. Scissor's like doing like a Kamea. Or no, that's like a Mega Man. <laughs> He's charging up like Mega Man. Very cool. I didn't know he could do that. All right. So we're going to do a quick review of the hits. And when, when it, you have to collect them like this, that's always a good sign. So still very cool promo. Um, let's see about that. Eh, you know what? I, I feel like these are like going to be a dime a dozen soon. So Snorlax. Um, not a big hit, but I know Ty wanted one. Oh, God. That thing's beautiful. Deoxys VMAX. Glaceon V-Star. Charizard V. A Nessa. I feel like probably won't be hard to collect, but I definitely want to get them all. All those you know, signature cards. Altaria Alt Arts into this <laughs> weird energy pack. And the one we started with, it was a Caldeo. Whew. All right, that was a lot of fun. Um, yeah, Ty, if you want to get anything graded, let me know. I feel like that was a pretty strong box, so congratulations. And um, yeah, thanks. shout out to all the patrons out there. Thanks for supporting me and giving me the, you know, privilege of opening this stuff for you. And uh, yeah, if you want to support the channel, like, comment, and subscribe. Thanks for watching. I'm Wanna Turtle, and I'll catch you all next time. Peace.